Hey, Mark Hicks here, and I have a quick unboxing video for you today. I'm super excited. This is something uh, I've been waiting for for a while. It's the Rode Video Mic Me. I ordered mine from B&H. Let's open it up. I've been doing a lot of phone videos, uh, specifically live feeds, thanks to YouTube working well with my Samsung. So, nice hard shell case you can see here. Let's see, open it up. And look, they already mounted the uh, furry windscreen on here. And looks like that's the clip. Oop. So let's see, what do we got, what do we got? Uh. Uh, quick start guide. Oh, pretty fancy. I'll read it at another time because I don't think it's that complicated. So, that's the mic. Very cool. Uh, nice and small. Now, I recommend leaving windscreens on at all times when you're doing a video. I don't care if you're inside, outside. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's a little lip there. That's what the uh, dead cat's gonna snap into so it doesn't fall off. So it's nice and sturdy. I'm gonna grab my phone, nice Samsung S6. Let's turn on camera. Woo. And let's see here. So fortunately the camera is on the opposite side of the plug where I need to plug it in. So that shouldn't be an issue. Oop, I'm get a little bit of cat hair in there. Snicker, snicker. Uh, let's turn it this way and then the little back piece just slides right on let's turn on the video it's actually the the furs in the way of my fingers where I'm trying to control so I'm gonna do selfie mode turn that on so now I am using the camera Oop, I'm blocking it with my own hand silly goof all right so I didn't plan this out good because my hand's going to block the camera, but here we go. So now you're listening to me on the cell phone, just the standard app that came with my phone. Uh, nothing special, auto settings on everything, and using the Rode uh, Video Mic Me. Now, I sat next to a window because I wanted you to see how much background noise it can pick up. I can hear a little bit of wind, I can hear birds chirping, I can hear the uh, wind chimes going. I don't know how much of that you can hear just yet. We'll find out soon. But I love the idea of this thing. Uh, I do a lot of live feeds, like I said, now on YouTube using my phone. And the rig I have is pretty intricate to get decent audio. Uh, this would save me a lot of grief if need be. Uh, so I'm excited. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. Uh, again, packaging, there wasn't much very uh, fancy about it, uh, but what more do you need? The mic, the windscreen, uh, good to go. Plug and play, I hope. Hope this sounds good. And I'm going to go back to the other camera angle. So, you can see on the phone, it's kind of kind of big. If somebody were to see you walking around with this, they're going to go, What the hell's on your phone, man? That's weird. It's pretty awesome. I hope it sounds good. Like I was saying, packaging, nothing complicated. No fluff, no puff, just uh, exactly what you need. Basically the camera, or the microphone, the stop, and your dead, uh, dead cat. The microphone seems to sit in nice, even with my case being on my phone. Uh, sometimes the cases can be pretty big and intrusive. You may have to take your case off if you have one. In my case, Huh, my case, pun intended. It looks like I got lucky and I can leave my case on my phone. I'll try out the, the earpiece later on to see if we can, uh, how much of that actually works halfway decent. I know Rode has their iPhone app for recording audio. Uh, I wish they'd come out with an Android one, but they haven't yet. So I'm real excited about this. I hope the audio sounds good. Let me know in the comments below what you thought. I'm going to do no editing to the cell phone video with the audio. So I want to hear your interpretations. Later on, I'll do a video that will compare this with the uh, Rode SmartLav and the SmartLav Plus. 
and I'll even hook up with, because I'm using an Audio Technica lavalier right now through the camera. I'll hook that up to my phone and I'll even use my Tascam shotgun mic that's sometimes on my camera. They're all in about the same price point. This came in at about 60 bucks. So what option is going to work best for you? Hopefully this will be cool. If it is, I'll probably pick up a bunch more so I can put them on multiple devices. So that's about it. So stay tuned for future video with the comparisons. Hope you like the unboxing. I don't know what else I can really show you with it, but you know, there's the back of the box. Getting a little glare, but so like I said, I picked mine up at B and H. And uh, thanks for watching. Again, this is Mark Hicks, Mark Hicks Photography, and I'll see you. Bye. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing.